Hey gang, I'm playing this little uh, unconditional surrender case blue scenario, the first scenario of Barbar not Barbarossa. <laughs> Wrong part of the country. Case blue 42 scenario, first turn. And uh, I think I may be playing it wrong, I'm not sure, but it seems uh, fairly deadly. And I'll explain why as quickly as I can without uh, droning on too much. Uh, this German panzer unit, 1st Panzer Army, uh, started here, and there was a unit positioned here. And we did a mobile assault across the river, used a uh, ground support and an air support. There was some air combat that went on, and these guys ended up with their six, so they could do no more. Uh, these guys ended up with four sorties after a period of time. They started with two. And so we let them sit now with just the four sorties there. So we assaulted and forced a retreat and reduced the unit. There was also an, an enemy unit here. And from what I could read of the 4.1.3.1 uh, uh, enemy zones of control rule, I would have to end my turn there unless I was doing another mobile assault. And so I mobile assaulted the enemy unit that was reduced. And it had no zone of control there, but there were obviously two units here in the heads of control. Uh, so it still had enough movement points to do that, attack that unit, got a really good roll, it died. And I was once again in a zone of control, and so, and still had enough movement points, I believe, to continue to attack. And so I attacked again. And not using air or ground support or anything like that, uh, forced this unit here, the enemy unit here, into a retreat. But because I had a unit here, uh, that forced the chappy to uh, be eliminated based on what I could tell because there was nowhere for it to retreat to. Uh, what, it wasn't reduced, it was just had to retreat, and so it couldn't retreat, so it was reduced. And then what happened? Then I forget, but for some reason, or maybe it was reduced and then it couldn't retreat and it uh, took another step loss and so it died. Something along those lines, I don't know. So uh, that unit ended its movement there. I then uh, attacked across the river here. No, I went, uh, I ended up, uh, yes, yeah, so I think, I believe I ended up uh, attacking across the river here, uh, forcing an uh, elimination of that unit. I then moved this piece around. I bounced in and out of zones of control, I believe, and ended up around here. And we attacked this unit in an assault, uh, in a fixed a fixed combat. And we got lots of pluses uh, for doing that as well. And so that ended up being a direct uh, uh, defender eliminated result there. So that seemed very bloody to me. And uh, I was a little concerned that I'm missing something here. Um, paying production points for each activation. These guys pay two, these guys will pay one, and we take one from the Romanian track, which I didn't do earlier on. So we fixed that. Uh, but it seems awfully deadly. And maybe just the, you know, because you get something isolated, like this guy, I believe, would be isolated because he has zones of control around him. I think that's what it says here. Isolation, where is it? Yeah, a defender has no eligible retreat hex, and it is not adjacent to a friendly city or a ground unit. Or, or, or a ground unit. Okay, so it wouldn't have been isolated. So let's just pop that back too. That would have been a DD... Uh, he would have had to retreat. He uh, would have been reduced and had to retreat. There's nowhere for him to retreat because he can't stack. So he still would have been eliminated. Uh, I didn't advance after combat, but this you know this guy here uh, could have advanced after combat if he had wanted to. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, that guy's in trouble as well. He's going to be out of supply when we do supply when it's their turn. So it. it <laughs> If you've played this game, uh, would love your comments because it feels like I'm uh, doing something wrong. I I went through the machinations of redoing a couple of the combats and double checking stuff, and I think I got it correct. But I think if I am making a mistake, it's probably in the uh, enemy zones of control rules that allowed me to kind of do this mobile assault, mobile assault. Uh, Maybe I, I miscounted movement points, but with 10 movement points, I believe that it would be uh, 
1 into that hex for the mobile assault, plus 1 for the river is 2. And then there was... Uh, where's the little chart here? I'll just move this. Uh, attack a unit in fair weather, so that would have been 3 movement points to here. And then we did another attack, so that would have been uh, 2, that's 5, and then another 2 would be 7. Uh, or thereabouts, so I think I had plenty of movement points for the 10 movement points there. All right, that's all I got uh, for you. Really interesting game in that you're not worrying about rules so much. I can imagine that after three or four turns of this, it would become second nature to play this game. And the, where, the, where the trickiness and the cleverness and the thoughtfulness comes into the game is more about which unit do I move first? Which unit do I, can I uh, you know, crack a hole in a line with and, and then allow other units to come through behind? Do I conduct my assault now or later in the turn uh, or at the end of the turn uh, after I've moved other units? So there's some interesting dynamics there and I can see why people are excited about this. It's a, it's a pretty, cool, pretty cool system. I uh, look forward to playing the whole thing. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. That's... Uh, Please throw a comment up. Even if you think I'm full of shit, just tell me. If I'm not, if I'm playing it right, then woohoo for me. All right, later.